Welcome back to Squawk. Bank stocks all lower this morning. Join us right now to talk about the sector. Uh, uh, Chris uh, Kotowski, he is a uh, managing director for Oppenheimer and Company. Good morning to you. We're looking at uh, the big banks down. Uh, we're looking at the regional banks down. How are you thinking about this? And, and should we be concerned? I, I hate to use the word rescue, but are there more rescues to be had? Well, the first thing I want to, a couple of things I want to say. One is Silicon Valley was an outlier. And it was already very clear in the third quarter results last year. Uh, in the third quarter results last year for the industry, the asset side of the balance sheet repriced up 24 basis points more than the deposit cost. For Silicon Valley, it was the other way around. The deposit right. costs repriced 36 basis points more than the deposit costs. In the fourth quarter, it was even more dramatic, right? For the industry, the asset uh, prices uh, repriced four basis points more than the deposit costs. For Silicon Valley, it was the other way around to the tune of 60 basis points. So it was already very clear uh, months and months ago that there was an issue. And quite honestly, I, I, I personally had conceived of it in terms of an issue of an earnings squeeze. Uh, you know, I didn't see the liquidity crisis coming, but it was obvious that there is an outlier. And let me give you one other statistic here, which is that, uh, you know, their uh, investment securities portfolio was nearly 60 percent of assets. Right. For the average regional bank, it's about 28. I'm not, so, I'm not saying it's not an outlier. And clearly, there's so many yeah. issues that are idiosyncratic to it. Uh, but at the same time, look at look at the KRE. This is the S&P Regional Banking ETF. Yeah. I mean, across the board. So, you know, we've had people come on the show where you read The Wall Street Journal. They say, you know, this is this is, S, you know, SBV was involved in in woke this or that. And, and I look at that and I say, OK, go look, go look at the index. Is, are all these well, banks uh, too woke? Uh, that's what's taking them down? I mean, it makes no sense. Uh, there's, there's clearly a lot of fear in the market. But for the most part, these companies are very stable. The big regional name brand banks, you know, the banks that have branches all over your city uh, are, 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 are pretty darn stable. And, you know, the thing about most banks, like Silicon Valley was a place where companies went to park money. Right. I mean, a venture right. capital company would raise 200 million bucks and then they would burn it over two years. And so they, they would park a lot of money at Silicon Valley and draw it down generally. Right. The big banks don't want that kind of money. What the right. big banks want are operating accounts. They so, want, you know, they want right. your checking account where the balances Chris, go but, up. But the, the, quest, the question going. right now is you, you look at a PacWest, you look at a First Republic down this morning. Uh, you know, 22 percent First Republic. Uh, PacWest, I think, at one point was down uh, 8, 9 percent this morning. I think right now we're actually all the way down to down 12 percent. Are these banks, what, what's supposed to happen here? Well, quite honestly, I, I don't cover either of those. But I will say, you know, the extraordinary uh, measures that the Fed has gone to here with uh, First Republic tell me they think that it's probably basically a responsible bank that managed its, itself reasonably and, and just got caught up in a, a general panic. 